Hey guys, here with the, the SC300 uh, on today's episode of tuning and fixing. Uh, we just got our max speeding rod coilover uh, tool kit. Um, the person that sold me the car had max speeding rod coilovers all around and had it super slammed. I did not have the tools, got the tools now. We need to raise the front end just a little bit. Um, because it's way too low. I mean, you just can't even hardly drive this thing um, without the front wheels grabbing the fender well. So anyhow, we're going to get under there. I'll show you how to adjust uh, the coilovers and we'll get the right height dialed in. Okay, we got the wheel off and we're looking here at the coilover. So what I'm going to do, we actually, since we're going to to raise it, we're going to move this very top collar. We're going to actually move this one here um, counterclockwise to actually pull the spring out down here. So I went ahead and uh, I loosened this up here by going counterclockwise, loosen that up a little bit, and then we're actually just going to raise this top one. So let's measure where it was at from collar to collar. Let's see, we were at three and a half. So I want to go probably to four. So let's do that. Got some gloves on so I don't hurt my hands. Okay, it is moving. Again, this car is higher in the back than in the front for some reason. And so we're actually just gonna be leveling it out. Let's continue slowly here. I'm noticing this boot isn't on anymore. You know, we'll keep turning. See here down here all of this new exposed threads right in here so we're making some good progress All right, we're almost there at half inch. All right, let's see where that is exactly. Let's go to three and three fourths. That's our goal here. That's what we're going to do. Two more turns. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Really close to three and three fourths. Okay, so I'm thinking one more turn here and then tighten the bottom knuckle again. And then we'll remeasure once more.
Yeah, that's pretty on the money. Maybe one more. Okay, there we go. All right, let's do the other side and then we'll see how it's looking when we put it down. All right. All right, we got the right side adjusted. We wanted both sides to be three and three fourths. That's looking pretty good right there. So we'll just tighten this one side up by tightening the bottom. Again, we adjusted it from the top to spin the entire middle section out of the bottom section to raise it up. And then once we got it to the right height we want, we then tighten the bottom to the left there. It's tight. All right, we'll put the tire back on, lower it down and see how she rides. How's it look? I think it looks pretty darn even. Let's go measure the wheel well. Okay, let's see here. So we got about 25 inches to the fender. Wow, they're super close now. So that, so we got the, um, front raised just enough I think to even it out so we're gonna go on a test drive and see if that's high enough it looks like maybe a still a little bit too low but we'll see how it goes all right you guys we've been driving down this bumpy road it's where I've been testing it it's driving so much better um, probably 80% less rubs on this bumpy road still a couple but so much more drivable feeling really good here there's a bump right here yep that's one of the worst ones we definitely rubbed there a bit but um, yeah we'll see we might go up another quarter inch 